You like my striped shirt? Yeah, it's good. Where's Waldo? All right. Here we go. Boom. Boom. Emergency episode. Do we have a... We need a siren. I know. We need a siren. Woo! woo. We love emergency. Emergency pods. This might be our last emergency pod I think it might be for a while until something you never know. All right. You ready? Yeah. Welcome back, everybody, to an emergency episode. We have some breaking news. Breaking news. For you guys. This may or may not be our last emergency episode that we ever record. I mean, I feel like if you're, yeah, if you're watching this podcast right now and we actually released it to the public, the merger has been completed. PPA, MLP. This feels surreal. Have come together and the merger is done. Wait a second. It's I'm, over. Getting, I'm getting a call from Pardo right now. He's going to say the merger is <laughs> yeah. off. So we were told um, the MLP board has signed. They've docu-signed all of their docs. Connor Pardo, Tom Dundon, PPA have signed all of their docs. And as we are recording this, the owners are signing their docs. So as we know, the merger has been completed. Completed. So the before last... Before the end of February. Right? If they talk about waiting till the 11th hour. Literally. The, yes. The 11th hour. is February 28th. So the past six to eight months have been wild, to say the least. Yeah. And so I think this brings a lot of clarity a lot of um, just kind of a direction of where we're heading. Yeah. And I think it's good for players. I think it's good huge, for fans. I think it's good for, for everybody. Players are finally going to get paid. Okay. Can we talk about that? What does that mean? Are they getting retro So paid? there's some de- there's some details that still need to be worked out. My understanding is that there, that, and I could be completely wrong, but my understanding is that there will not be retro pay that they will what they will do is they will start fresh on march 1st with new contracts and they will still run the full three years okay so they won't lose any time they'll just their contracts will run through march of 2027 okay as opposed to january of 2027 okay and then they'll start paying them right away so that could have changed where they were gonna you know give them back pay but it sounds like to me that they're going to start on march 1st um the, uh, the second thing is the structure of MLP. So there was originally nine events planned. Mm-hmm. First event was back in February. We've essentially surpassed the dates of two events at this point. There's another event planned this weekend, right, that is not going to happen, obviously. Mm-hmm. So what happens with the structure of MLP? Like, where do we go from here? Who, you know, how many events do they do? Yeah, uh, we don't know. Yeah, uh, we actually don't know, uh, but I would imagine they won't start until earliest of June. I would guess that June first is probably a re- is probably the target start date. Yeah, uh, and, and they would obviously reduce the amount of tournaments. Yeah, I w- my my guess if I had to guess what was going to happen is they go June first and they go six events, and that includes the end of the year. If you make the playoffs, if you so make one playoffs. event per month. Yeah, essentially that would be my guess. I don't know this at all. That's just trying to put logic together and looking at the the events that were already planned. The other thing is um, they need to figure out, well, are we doing Challenger and Premier still? How many players? What are the structure? Because that was done, but now they've bought out a lot of players. We have also heard that they've bought out a number of players, not yes. a ton, but a yeah. number of players. So what does that look like? So from our understanding, those players, if they've been bought out, they're not allowed to compete in MLPs or PPAs. Yeah, I believe they can still compete in PPAs as uncontracted players, but okay. they so they can essentially win prize money, but now you're paying your own entry fees. Yeah. You're paying your own way to play. And then obviously you can win you can win prize money or et cetera. So but for MLPs, if you're an uncontracted player, you're not allowed to be drafted. So I think a lot some of these players have actually maybe forfeited their rights to play MLPs. Gotcha. So we'll see what that looks like. Um, or maybe they, you know, there's some sort of provision that they put in there, but yeah, a lot of players have been, have been bought out. My understanding is most of them, it's essentially one around year, one year's around worth. one year's worth of their three year deal. So they get paid up front. They're good to go. They can go free to go do whatever they want. They don't have to do clinics. They don't have to give their 200 days. And then MLP PPA NUCO will save essentially two years worth of salary. Okay, so who's going to run the show at MLP? So I think it sounds like 
Bruce Popko will run the show for yeah. now of MLP. Um, PPA obviously is running fine. And then we'll see what... Is Kuhn coming back? No, <laughs> Kuhn is definitely not coming back. Brooks is definitely not coming back. Uh, and then we'll, we'll see what how they integrate it, right? Yeah. You know, how are they going to integrate things? Because I have heard that there's there's some ideas out there where they want like... You know, they, they want your MLP team logo to be on, like for you to wear your logo on your shirt while you play PPAs. Mm-hmm. Maybe do an F1 type of point system f- per for teams yeah. in PPA events. Yeah. You know, like, so, you know, if you have Tyler Lung and Tyler finishes, you know, gets a bronze medal like you did in Daytona, right? Those points go towards yeah, your team, your MLP team, yeah. and they can help you, you know, maybe... Uh, whatever, whatever it is. So they want to integrate it. They want this to be like a uniform, you know, no more of the fighting, no more MLP versus PPA. Like this is going to be all in one. Like MLP yep. is essentially what vibe, what they wanted vibe to be. So, yeah. So, Do I mean, you, I mean, obviously I think the players will be very happy on this news because like you said, it means we will be getting paid. They'll be getting paid. Yeah. Um, Let me see. Do you think, the energy or the momentum has dropped in hundred percent. How will that affect MLP the, moving the forward? The energy and the momentum's dead. Like it's gone. Um, they have to build that back up. The anticipation mm-hmm. from fans. There's a few hardcore fans out there, right? There's look. The, there's the Hayshays of the world that are always going to like MLP can come back five years from now and yeah. and they're going to be fired up, right? Yeah. There's those hardcore fans, but I think for the most people, like they feel very indifferent right now, and mm-hmm. they just. They're just over it. So MLP has to bring that back. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I don't know how they're going to do it. I think the first thing they need to do is you've got to have a draft and it's got to be a live draft and you've got to get that pumped up. Yeah. You've got to have fan interaction. Will you go to the draft? Uh, if yeah. It's if it's, if it's live, I'll go for sure. <laughs> you got to have fan interaction. There's just a lot of things that they have to do that to start building this back up because MLP has essentially been an afterthought. Yeah. I mean, there hasn't been an event since November. Yeah. That was a half of an event. They haven't actually had a full event since Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Was that September? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. So you haven't had a full event since September. Yeah. So, I mean, there's a lot of work that needs to be done. To, what ball will they use? Well, I heard that that's for sale, actually. Another couple mil in sponsorship. Yeah. So there's more money. Bring in more money, right? Yep. What ball would you want to use? If you could choose any ball that's Vulcan, not the Vulcan. V-Pro Flight. That's not the Vulcan. Uh, obviously, most of the... Players, they like the Dura. They've had good experiences with that. With that said, there have been quite a few other new balls that have come onto the scene that are uh, pretty favorable with a lot of the pros. So, I mean, some pros still like the Franklin. The new Selkirk ball has gained a lot of popularity. The, the Oso ball. Yeah. I mean, there's does a lot Oso, of balls to choose Oso from. Does Oso have the money for that? Um, I mean... The Oso guy went hard at gym class, by the way, on... Facebook. What do you say? Whoever um, runs Oso's Facebook account, they went hard at him. Yeah, they went hard at um, was it Vulcan? They what? went hard at Vulcan yeah. too. Yeah, and then basically, they, Connor Pardo made a comment about basically saying that he was going to do the whole commentating thing. He said we're going to take care of it, and he said, "Good. Now why don't you get rid of the Vulcan ball and get rid of Jim Kloss?" And he like went off. And I was wow. Like, oh, okay. Is that a good look or bad look for I your think, company? You know, I think that we. It's an interesting look. How about that? Okay. I don't know if it's good or bad. But. Um, I mean, I'm just having a, a tough time right now. I mean, I think, like I said in the beginning, I think our very first emergency episode was about this uh, like PPA MLP July, merger. August, yeah. I think it was covering this. Yeah, and so, I know. Um, we have done a couple of emergency pods since then, and almost all of them have been related to this. Yeah. Um, what's, Are we done? Is the, is what's KLTC, going to be the next? Is KLTC over? I think we're done. We're Can we just, just right end off. it? because the You'll merger? find us at the public courts. Just yes, because the merger's over. There's nothing left for us to do. I mean, pickleball changes by the day. There's, so, there's got to be something else. So that's that the other thing. Up. I know that the hype guys like to make fun of, of all of the, you know, merger updates i know that they like, did their own little, little video about That's it pretty funny probably the only creative thing they've ever done which is why they're unemployed oh. but oh. with that being said like, we can only pass along the information that we receive and this did take a long time but it sounds like the adults finally adulted mm-hmm. and yeah they came to an agreement. I, I heard yesterday that 
that there was something that almost blew up the merger yeah. again, though. No, it was. It yeah. was, yeah. 100%. So, it, I mean, this this whole situation, everything is very fluid, like literally changing by the day. Yes, but it's done. Is as it done? Of, yes. As of this podcast, is done. If if we release this podcast and you're watching it right now, it is 100% done. Okay. Because we're not releasing this unless it is 100% done. <laughs> so, yes, the merger is done. Get excited. Buy some Black Bears merch. Black Bears are coming. Yeah. We got some new merch coming out. You got a new redesign. A yeah, new brand. we got a new brand. Like, yeah. We'll keep it under wraps. We'll do a big reveal, but it's going to be sick. Uh, yeah, I think everybody's excited to actually get back to playing pickle because yeah. and watching and pickleball. Even, even, I would say even the last few tournaments, I mean, we were playing pickleball, but there was still a lot of uncertainty in the air. Yeah. Uh, I mean, players like Eric Lang, he didn't know where he stood with his contract. I mean, that's why he, he took the last, yeah. the last tournament off is because... Yeah. Because of their situation. Well, well, when you're, I mean, J Dub and Dylan and those guys, right? They're still their contracts are still up in the air, you know. So they, they're still, like I said, there's still things that need to be figured out. Oh, right? I don't know. Well, I will say this, but I heard a rumor um, from a reliable source that said the person representing J W and that group is suing MLP and PPA. I mean, I think that. That I mean, it wouldn't shock me if they brought forth some. They're sort of, threatening that yeah. unless they get a contract that yeah. is similar to yeah. what they were offered. He yeah, it so. wouldn't shock me, and that's the thing. And those guys have gone on. Is and what I heard. Those guys have gone, and they're playing APP Sacramento now. Do you think they'll still do that if this merger completes? So that's the thing is, I think so, just because they're not, they're still not under contract. Mm-hmm. They're technically not under contract with MLP or PPA, so. Th- there is some loose ends that need to be tied up that the duper thing, essentially they, they tabled the duper thing and said, let's negotiate after we get this closed, mm-hmm. which is actually a very big of them, but, and it, but it does take a lot of trust. So I'm curious how duper ends up working out in all of this, but the good news is it's whatever happens with duper is not going to affect MLP events yeah. anymore. So that's, that's a, a good thing. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of loose ends that need to be tied up. Right. Yeah, but I think there's still a lot that needs to be resolved. Well, the reality is, is I mean, talking to people on both sides today, they have both kind of expressed the same sentiment, and that's like now the real work begins. Yeah, like now it's time to go to work, and they both have incentive. Connor Pardo, Tom Dundon, Bruce Popko, MLP owners, and and Worcester, they now have incentive to make MLP. The biggest, it the can biggest be, it know. can be because they have ownership. They have ownership. Yeah. Like they're incentivized to do that. Yeah. So nobody wants MLP to be worth a billion dollar company more than, you know, well, maybe not more, but Tom Dundon and Connor Pardo are just as yeah. invested. It as, will be interesting. I mean, yeah. we talked about this with Connor Pardo and we never released this episode, but um, we talked about like what happens if MLP gets bigger than the PPA or yeah. something to that effect. Like, yeah. I guess since they're technically owned by the same entity, yeah. um, that'd be, it's just kind of yeah. interesting to and see he what was, would happen And he there. basically was good would with it. Would they just reduce it to four events a year or something like that? Yeah. Well, I mean, if it gets bigger and the fan, I mean, it's the fans are going to speak. Yeah. If the fans are all in on MLP and they start to not be in on tour events, which mm-hmm. I cannot imagine. But if the fans start to speak and say, you know, we would rather have MLP events and they're not attending tour events and they're only attending MLP events, then yeah, you, you obviously adjust, but that hasn't been the case. Fans love both. The other thing is, is remember PPA. I don't think at least for now, the plan is for MLP to have an amateur aspect or an mm-hmm. amateur side yep. and people with PPA having the, the tour side having the amateur side, that's always going to draw yeah. its own set of fans. Rally scoring or traditional? Well, they're going to go rally. They're going to stick with rally. Stick with everything. I think everything's the same. I think all the rules, everything yeah. is going to be the same. It's still going to be called Major League Pickleball. They're going to operate under one umbrella, but they're still going to have their separate names, which allows you to sell separate sponsorships. Uh-huh. So and, last yeah. question I'll ask you, uh, you might not know, but... So from my understanding, there was maybe five to 10 players that still did not agree to any of the pay cuts. There's still a group of people or a couple people yeah. that have not agreed to those pay cuts. So I think those are some of the loose ends that they're going to have to figure out and that they're going to have to kind of come to terms with mm-hmm. um, and decide what to do with those players. Okay. Right? Like I think that the, these are, again, these are some of the things that, you know, they'll need to, they'll need to do now. It would not surprise me 
if all the players get new contracts that are dated March 1st, mm -hmm. it's just, this is pure speculation that are dated March 1st and the players that did not agree to a cut, those contracts have the cut in there. And if they don't agree to those contracts, they basically say, well, your previous contracts are null and void. Mm -hmm. And if those players say, well, you know, you owe me, I'm going to sue. They say those contracts, because allegedly those contracts actually have a clause that state change of ownership. Mm -hmm. You know, the contracts become yep. null and void with change of ownership. Yep. And I wonder if they'll use that clause to get yep. out of those player deals. I don't know. I mean, there's, there's someone's going to sue. Yeah. Lawyers are going to get involved in this. We said this on our podcast that just aired. Lawyers are going to get involved in this in some way. Yeah. Um, there are, there's going to be one or two people, stragglers that are unhappy and they may just pay those guys to go away. Yeah. Uh, or, you know, someone might actually still move forward and still play and then still bring a lawsuit. Yeah. We don't know, but I think that there's very smart people running this very wealthy people that have, you know, lawyers on retainer. You would think that they've checked all their and so I X's and O's. assume that they've checked all the boxes yep. and they've figured a way around all this. But okay. as fans, get excited. Anything else you'd like to add for this emergency breaking news episode? No, I'm pumped up. I'm excited. Um, any sponsors interested in sponsoring the Black Bears, reach out. Or the pod. W or the pod, obviously, yes. But <laughs> we, uh, yeah, we're ready. We're, we're fired up. We're ready to bring back MLP. Okay. Ready to draft Tyler Loon for the in the challenger? Hey, let's go. You want to come play? You want to come be a bear? Blairs are awesome. Blairs, bears, bears are awesome. Yeah, we can have bear brick. We can have a bear California brick. black bear brick. Yeah, as a mascot. As a mascot, that'd be awesome. So, okay, awesome. All right, thanks again. If you guys have made it thus far and have followed along since the very beginning of our emergency episodes, please do us a big favor. Hit that like and subscribe button. It helps us continue yes. to make these videos and let us know if you'd like these, uh, like us to find more topics that we can uh, break the news on in the future. Yeah. All right. Have a great day. See you guys.